Hey guys, it's John here from Horror Fiend Reviews. I hope everyone's doing well. I was on the uh, the lookout for some horror merch in Canada and I came across a great site called gruesomeevolution.ca. I will leave a link to the website in the description below. But essentially it's um, a whole host of horror collectibles from figures, pop vinyls, t-shirts, CDs, soundtracks and lots of different types of collectibles. So if you want to check these guys out, then there's going to be a link in the description below. I also found out that it's run about a six minute drive from where I've just moved into, so I'll definitely be picking stuff up from there again. The customer service has been absolutely amazing. Um, I've been working with uh, with James, who runs Gruesome Evolution, and he was kind enough to actually drop the stuff off at my house early on today. So thank you very much, James. It's not gone unnoticed. The customer service has been excellent. He's also been watching some of my videos, so this one's for you, James. But without further ado, let's get on to the uh, to the haul. So first, uh, I've got a little Ziploc bag uh, with some little goodies here. Um, so these are just some some horror movie posters, um, stickers that I found on the site, which I thought were were going to be pretty cool. So I thought I'd pick some up. So. Um, first, it comes with a little uh, little card. Uh, I'll try and get it without glare. Comes with a little card, um, just with the website. Um, on the back, there's a flyer for Amorphous merch, which is for uh, heavy metal, rock, clothes, collectibles. So I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. They they work with Gruesome Evolution also. But yeah, I got I got some stickers. So the first one I got was the Hatchet poster. Dario Argento's Demons, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Nightbreed, which is one of my favourite movies, I love this sticker, it's a great cover, House for Thousand Corpses, John Carpenter's Halloween, and Dead Alive, which is extremely hard to find on Blu-ray, so if you find it, if you find it anywhere, you fucking get that, I swear to God, this movie's awesome, one of Peter Jackson's best, sick, sick movie. I also picked up a couple of figures that uh, there are two that I've, I've really been able to find. So, yeah, the first is a Butterball figure from Hellraiser. This is part of the Series 2 by NECA. Um, it's, it's been resealed. I don't know if you can see here. Uh, it's been, there's some sellotape here, so it has been opened, but... It's it's cool. It's got all the uh, all the stuff. It's got an alternative head. It's got all the tools that comes with it and his little belt. And I mean, I love the uh, the NECA figure. So I mean, it makes me want to get them more. Plus the fact that it's uh, Hellraiser. Yeah, really good figure. So yeah, Butterball. Uh, next it is a. Next we've got another NECA, and this is more. This is more modern. Um, it's the ghost face from Scream 4 figure. So it comes with the uh, the knife. Not too many uh, not too many things not too many things with it, but uh, yeah. I've been on the lookout for a uh, for a ghost face uh, figure for a very long time, so I just had to pick these. I had to pick this up, man. I just had to. Um, I'm on the hunt for the Movie Maniacs version, so if anyone has any leads on one of those, then be sure to let me know. Also, if anyone finds a Wishmaster figure that's in box, it's not too too crazy in price, then definitely let me know about that as well. But yeah, that's just some stuff that I got delivered today and that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, if you want to check out James's website in the Gruesome Evolution, I'll leave a link below where you can go and check out some of his stuff. Let me know what you guys think of the, the haul in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All social media links are in the description below. This has been Horror Fiend Reviews. I've been John and I'll catch you later. Later.